The interesting thing about Job is that he was stuck in religion. Job would have been the perfect Christian. He did everything right. Today, these days, when you hear people talk about how they wish they could be better Christians, they wish they could be doing all the things that Job did. Right? Job stood up for the homeless, for the poor. He did everything right. He never lusted after woman. He was the most just and upright man in all the land. Right? Right? And... He was also living in fear, a hallmark of religion. So he had all the hallmarks of religion. He was doing everything perfectly right, and he was still living in fear. What was he doing? He was basically an expert at the tree, quote-unquote, of the knowledge of good and evil, right? He had it down to a science, on the good side. Which is, of course, dangerous because it has a bad side, right? You can't have good without evil, right? true. That's why God said don't eat of it. So, was it a real tree? Who knows? But the truth behind it is true. I'm of the opinion that it was a metaphorical story to teach us this principle. I know there's hardcore Christians out there that agree with me, disagree with me, I mean, and that's fine. The point is that partaking of the knowledge of good and evil is not a good thing. Back to Job. He partook of it to the nth degree, and he was an expert. And when it all came crashing down, what did his friends do? Well, maybe they were his legitimate friends. We don't know. But what they did is they were all experts at the knowledge of good and evil as well. And what did God say about them? They have not spoken correctly of God. So God doesn't live on the knowledge of good and evil. Obviously, we can logically deduce, right? He told us not to partake of it. And he told all of Job's friends, all three of them, who were experts at the knowledge of good and evil as well, which we can tell from the things they said, that they were wrong as well. And what did they say? They basically said that, Job, if you were a good guy, God wouldn't be treating you like this. You must be doing evil. They were experts in, if you're good, you get blessed. If you're good, you're happy. If you're bad, God punishes you. All of the knowledge of good and evil. They were experts. And God said what? He said, these people have not spoken correctly of me. So we can see from this story that religious people do not know God and they do not know speak correctly of him. <laughs> so, what happened? Job's religion crashed and fell down all around him. His religious friends... Could not help him. So what had to happen? He had to meet God in person. And he had to develop a loving, real, authentic relationship with his creator. That's what happened. That's what the story of Job is about. You say, oh Jesse, that's pretty far-fetched. Well, let's go back to Genesis and compare it. So what did the Adam and Eve have or whoever the first people were, I'm of the opinion that's a metaphorical story, but let's say it's literal. What did Adam and Eve have? What did the first people have, the first human beings? They had a loving relationship with God. And God said, don't you ever partake of what? The knowledge of good and evil, or you'll lose that loving relationship with me. And what did God do for Job? He took him off of the knowledge of good and evil, was the first command in Genesis. And he took him back to that place where the first people lived in a loving relationship with him, with Jesus. That's what the story of Job is all about. 